Are you ready for this? Oh my gosh. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm here to tour this gorgeous house behind me. We are at the Lily Street Farm development by Peveril Homes in Alfreton. So what are we here to tour? We're here to tour the Shardler, which is this house, like I said, behind me. It's a five bedroom, two bathroom property. Its approximate size is 1,789 square feet. And all the other information, like the pricing, will be listed on the screen there. And then, of course, there's a link in the description for you to go directly and find out more. But let's look at what we're here to tour. So we're here to tour this gorgeous rendered, it's like a rough, rough textured render property. It's very symmetrical on the front. You've got the striking porch canopy with these like oversized brick kind of plinths either side. You've got the brick of the lower level and then this kind of like stone appearance um, sills to the windows and then you've got the kind of the capping stone to the plinths. A lot of technical words there guys but yeah there's a lot of architectural details. You've got the windows kind of sticking out a little bit like a bay window either side with the little roofs above them and then you've got your striking black door in the middle either side you've got a bit of lawn and garden to this side they've gone with planting and shrubbery and then they've gone with lawn to that side you can see what you can do with a property and then you've got your block paving driveway just there so let's go inside let me let you in and let's start the tour So come inside, welcome home, make yourself nice and comfortable, as I like to say. Okay, first impressions is, well, my personal first impression is, this is definitely a very, very attractive hallway. Very, very, very attractive. I love some of the things that my eye is seeing, my eyes are seeing, and let's start first with the front door on the outside it's black on the inside it's white the white allows the light to bounce around on the inside whilst on the outside it's just striking isn't it you've got that glazed insert in the middle but it's just frosted for privacy and then you've got like your peephole and your chrome ironmongery letterbox and your, your door handle you've got this absolutely gorgeous flooring done in a herringbone pattern it's kind of like a white oak white washed oak appearance i love that and that continues all the way throughout the rest of the main central space of the home looking above us we've got these spotlights which again it's completely up to you what arrangement you go for but by adding the spotlights we're really creating a wow factor here in this space right now on this side we've got something don't look there just yet we'll show you but we've got something which we just you have to stay and watch that to catch what I'm, what I'm talking about. But let's go straight into here. This is our downstairs toilet. It's got an orange theme. So, and I love this wallpaper. So coming into this space, we've got a two piece suite. We've got our toilet and our sink. And the sink is on a pedestal as well. We've got that gorgeous flooring continuing straight into the space, half height tiling with a chrome edge strip and then radiator. It's a very kind of simple, very kind of pared down space, kind of elevated with the decor, but you can see exactly what you're gonna get and it's on a, it's in a fabulous location off the hallway. It's very easy to access in case you have guests coming to your home, which I'm sure you'll have. So actually, can you scoot round again? I just wanna talk about the doors, the architraves and the skirting boards at this development. We're seeing again, some of these gorgeous kind of Peveril home style doors where you have the three panels kind of recessed into the door. It's so unusual, you usually see your standard four panel doors, but these are really cool. And then they're in a high gloss white finish with this really attractive door handle 
I love that. And then again, you've got your architraves and your skirting boards are more of your traditional profile. The shape, they're more of a traditional shape. So, yep, now the next room that I want to show you is off here through these double doors. Are you getting prepared to be amazed as you come through into our first wow space of the home? Wow. <laughs> Of course, I have to say, I can't help myself. I've just seen something else I hadn't noticed before. So yes, this is interior design, but I just love this half height paneling they've done all the way around the room. The room has a certain kind of quality about it. It's dual aspect. And obviously we came through those kind of statement double doors. That's pretty, pretty nice. And then you've got this bay window area here with the splayed corners. And then both of those uh, windows on the either side is our opening trickle vents above as well and those are bringing in fresh air throughout the space you've got a rectangular floor plan you can see it is a very very large living room so we've got access to the garden on that side so that's the second aspect making this dual aspect and then in terms of the space you've got a large coffee table in the middle so you know you can fit large pieces of furniture you've got a large sofa over there two armchairs again you can probably put another armchair over here and create your focal point either on that wall where they've put a mirror or on this wall where they put a tv and yeah in terms of sizing it's lovely and we'll show you more of the garden if you stay tuned Oh yeah, guys, this would be a fantastic point for me to say subscribe so that you get notified when more of these fabulous Peveril Tour videos pop up. But let's come back into the hallway. We've got our staircase there. And then in the hallway, mystery door number two or three is here. So storage, cloak room. It's all under there and it's utilizing that space underneath the stairs. It also comes with a light. So again, it's not gonna be dark and dingy under there. You can access everything. Maybe you wanna do a shoe store. It's completely up to you what you wanna do. Coming off the hallway into the next room. Wow, okay. So this is another dual aspect space. Now, why do we go on about dual aspect being such a great thing to, to, to basically have in the space? Well, you know how the sun rises from the east to the west. If the sun is in a particular point, you can capture it in multiple windows. So you don't lose out on the different positions of the sun because you have windows basically all the way around the home. You've got that splayed bay window over there. And I like the way this has been staged, kind of like a, a spare room, a snug. I would call this a snug, but it could easily be a cinema room or a formal dining room. Yes, guys, we need to think outside of the box and again i haven't mentioned this for a while but it could be a spare bedroom uh for guests you know it's accessible it's easy it's on the ground floor there's no tricky stairs to climb and yeah this is a nice sized room it could be a home study or an office yeah so let's go back into the hallway and i want to show you this room wow okay i've already said the wow <laughs> it is beautiful beautiful Welcome, really, this is when I want to say welcome home. Welcome to the heart of the home. Kitchen, dining, snug living area, a totally dynamic family space with multiple aspects. There's actually three aspects in this room. One that way, one that way, and one that way. And I will show you more. But first, I want to go through this all methodically so we know exactly what we're getting in this house type. I'm going to go through the kitchen space first. So as you can see, we've got this glazed door bringing in light into the kitchen. And I love the fact that from the kitchen space, I can prep food whilst also looking at who's coming in or kind of steal glimpses at who's in the living room, actually. You can see the sofa from the living room. But yeah, let's talk about the kitchen space. It is like an L-shaped formation and the L cradles the kitchen island. I'm going to start over here first. We've got the wall-mounted units. There's navy blue and a shaker style cabinet with like a rose gold or copper, depending on how you want to see it. I think it's more rose gold, actually. With rose gold handles. You've got the recessed lighting underneath. You've got the gorgeous, gorgeous worktop here with the sparkly bits. You know the worktop I'm talking about, guys. You've seen these, these really elegant worktops. They're usually of a man-made material, but they're very durable. I think it's usually silestone or another kind of quartz material. You've got storage all the way underneath. Your cutlery drawer is here. 
Yes, guys, isn't that a convenient position to put all your cutlery? And then you've got the storage below it. You've got your five electric hob burner here. And then you've got your back painted glass splashback here in the kind of a teal color extract fan above the hob, obviously. And then you've got more storage here. And here you can see it's a dual tone storage space. So you've got navy blue cabinet doors and then white carcass on the inside. More storage, more storage. Looking at the sink, we've got a one and a half bowl. It's not quite a half, but it's one and a half bowl. And you've got, the sink actually is white. I've, I don't know. <laughs> you probably say, well, duh, I can see it. But the sink is white, so it complements this beautiful worktop. The worktop is also used the material of the worktop is also used to form the upstand and the sill and then of course you've got your window overlooking the hills and the countryside views beautiful beautiful views whilst you're doing your chores and you're doing your washing up and then gorgeous chrome mixer tap above i love that and then dishwasher is going to be the horizontal um handle which gives it away fabulous full-size zanussi dishwasher Again, things like appliances depend on the specification of the specification that's available at the development, but you can see the range of specification types at this particular show home. You've got the fabricated grooves into the worktop. I love that. So you don't actually have to put like a, a ball there if you didn't want to, and the water would be channeled straight into the sink and then more worktop space, more storage space. And then you've got your double oven integrated into the wall and then your fridge freezer in a 60 40 arrangement and that completes the main kitchen now we've got more kitchen oh does it complete the main kitchen well actually i'll point this out we've also got the lighting embedded into the plinths now let's talk about the island so have you seen these horizontal doors ample storage cutlery drawer over there bonus cutlery drawer over here again these are customizable and look how the worktop is of that same quality we saw in the main kitchen and then it oversails here it's cantilevered and it basically forms the breakfast bar and right now we've got three seats i love that isn't that incredible oh and i've just spotted something there's also a socket underneath this so practical great for doing like laptop work or if you're going to pop your ipad on but you want to be with the rest of the family in the home so that's great and a lot of the times people feel as though kitchen islands are sort of like forced so they're kind of squeezed in but guys look at the space look at the space all the way around the kitchen island look at all the space incredible now let me show you the dining area six seater table it, a six seater table is positioned right in the middle of the dining area and i think it's a good size i think it's a fantastic size for this i think you can probably go a little bit bigger if you needed to but for the space that you're getting right now this is perfect in proportion for this we've got views of the countryside again through the window over here as you can see oh, let's see if we can give you a better view of that and then you've got views over the side of your property here and it's so quiet in this space so peaceful you've got views from the dining area towards the back garden through this window and you can see half of it opens as well and again they open so it's great for getting in lots of air not every window opens by the way guys some are fixed but in this area this snug living area they've staged it with a large coffee table i love the the fact they've actually put the TV on the wall. So again, you're probably wondering, why didn't they put the TV on that wall or any wall? Well, if by putting your furniture like this, you can sit here and still connect with the other people in the house. It's a very sociable layout actually, and it's very good for making sure all the kids are kind of interacting. Everyone in the home is kind of within eye, eyesight of each other i love that and then you've got the double doors facing the garden but i'll show you that in a second let me pop around in here and show you the utility room so this is your laundry slash utility room i'll wait for you to come and have a look so you can see here you've got a space for non-integrated appliance in this case that's a zanussi washing machine or a dryer and i've got storage underneath here and then you've got an integrated appliance over here 
washing machine, I think, by Zunusi. And then you've got a cupboard here, which is where your boiler is. Your boiler is a valent boiler. And then you've got ample worktop for appliances. And they've showed you, they've actually put appliances in here, not to kind of trick you and make you think anything of the space, but you can see you've got ample worktop space, even with appliances in here and the same quality kitchen fittings that we saw in the kitchen are what we see in this space so let's go back into the main kitchen space and again i'm not going to hold it back anymore we're going to show you the garden tour guys so let's go into the garden and show you what it what you'd experience so coming down into the garden area you can see so let me just close this door briefly you've got a paved area which is which kind of forms like a really nice patio between your formal lounge and your dining kitchen lounge area. You also have access to your private driveway and your own garage. You've got lawn at the back and then you've got your timber fencing and brickwork brickwork wall in specific areas of the site so yeah I really love the landscaping it gives you a great idea of what you can expect from the back of the house you can from the back of the garden you can see what the house looks like you can see that it actually is l-shaped at the back of the house which kind of is interesting because it's actually rectangular and straight from the front but it's a nice little quirk but again yeah guys this is the garden tour let's go back inside the house and continue the rest of the house now we're on the landing you can see sneak peeks of the different rooms but in true property vlogs fashion let's talk about the landing space first of all so you've got this double height area over here and i love the oversized artwork there and i like the fact that it's been painted orange to really create a focal point not only that but then the orange kind of adds that warmth to the space but in terms of actually architecture i love the u-shaped staircase it is quite elaborate because all the way around with the um the kite winders they're called those angled stairs steps and then you can see all the way to the ground floor and really kind of connect with whoever's downstairs so first room on this floor that we're going to show you is over here this is one of the bedrooms this is a double bedroom but again right now we've got a king size bed in it and um, even with a king size we've still got ample space at the foot of the bed dressing table area here or a homework space and we've got bedside tables either side and i like the fact that you just have space in wrap, wrapping around the bed we've got a window facing the rear garden and then a large wardrobe over here which they've capped here but again you can bring it further or just have it um as a smaller wardrobe it's completely up to you what you want to do with that coming to the next room we've got another double bedroom nice size we've got a double bed here we've got bedside tables either side and then window and a window facing the front of the garden and then both of these open up bringing in lots of fresh air radiator wardrobe space at the foot of the bed it's a really good size I love that and don't you just love the artwork on the wall I want to just point out the artwork is actually painted on the wall it is not like um it's not a stick on mural so I really love that and I love how adventurous <laughs> comment below is that a llama or an alpaca okay let me know so coming back into the hallway mystery door number one is over here this is this is where our hot water cylinder lives you can see it's a valent hot water cylinder and this piece of kit is what powers all that beautiful hot water that goes throughout the whole house and then next room is over here this is the family bathroom again i'm really loving the full height tiling this is optional guys it's usually optional the full height tiling throughout the whole bathroom and then you've got the chrome edging strips of all the different points where the tiling changes direction i love the fact that the sill is tiled as well no more wooden sills in bathrooms guys i'm so happy to say that and then we've got a window bringing in lots of light beautiful chrome towel rail behind the door and then a large 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 sliding door shower 
with a shower tray and they've complemented the grey tiling with dark charcoal grey tiling on the inside. Tiling and all those things are completely up to you. What you choose, you'll get the material selection and you can have fun really going and, you know, creative with your choices. And then you've got an inlaid mirror in here, which there's always a question to ask if that's going to be standard or an add-on. Again, it depends on what your developer offers you. And then you've got your handheld shower device above your bathtub. I love that. Okay, so now going back into the hallway. Try not to look too much at the other spaces because they're just so tempting to do so. You've got a large bed in the middle. So this, from my judgment, is a king size bed. But again, it's a large bed with bedside with a bedside table on that side actually, and just a desk on the opposite side. They've done it like a gaming room, and I really like the artwork on the wall. Just to go that extra mile to paint these murals by hand is definitely, you know, tick 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 for the staging person. But again nice sized nice sizes nice proportions window facing the front of the garden overlooking the countryside views as well and then you've got your wardrobe a double wardrobe over here which you can extend all the way over here if you wanted to so let's go back into the hallway and then this room over here is a single bedroom but again, it's not a small single. You know, we can wave bye-bye to the box rooms of the past. We've got a really nice single bedroom which a child or a guest can grow into. A double bed can easily be placed here. Easily, you can tell just by looking at this space. And I love, again, the hand-painted mural in kind of like a Lego um, effect. And then you've got a window facing the side of the property radiator, ample space for wardrobes, I mean, if you wanted to be really cheap, you could probably put in another bed in here. I think two twin beds could go in here if the kids get along with each other. That's the question. So coming back into the landing, guys, come with me and let me show you my most anticipated space, which is your primary bedroom. Your primary bedroom has these two windows. Yes, two windows facing the rear of the garden the rear garden I should say I love these curtains that go all the way to the ceiling but I'm trying not to get too distracted we're looking at proportions this is great this is fantastic this is all you could want this is incredible I love this so we've got a large bed over there with oversized headboard we've got two large bedside tables a large 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 full sliding configuration, uh, a full configuration of wardrobes, floor to ceiling. Wow, done with mirrored doors. Again, finishes, colors, materials we are completely customizable. And then at the foot of the bed, how many steps? One, two, three, four, five, before you get to the end of the bedroom. That leaves me almost speechless. It's incredible. I absolutely love that. And I love this uh, artwork actually this mirror as well it's really good and I love this dresser in fact by them just putting a, a dresser it kind of makes you feel like what else do I want to put in here you know do I want to put a chaise lounge a little sofa watch tv over here you know there's definitely lots of options and then this is the ensuite to go with the primary bedroom you've got your rain dance rain head which can recreate kind of, you know, that rainfall experience, your handheld device, a large shower enclosure with a sliding door. You've got your shaver socket there in the wall, and then you've got your mirror inlaid again. I love that detail. And then you've got your sink and toilet by Villa Roenbach, a fantastic brand, and your chrome towel rail behind the door, or right in front of me, but behind you. And guys, the tiling is just beautiful. It's all sparkling, it's fully tiled. There's an extract vent above, bringing in fresh air. And yes, and I think that pretty much concludes the final space in this gorgeous house. What did you like the most? Leave it in the comments. What stood out to you that you thought, wow, I'm glad I saw that. I really would like that in my house. But most of all, subscribe so you get notified when our next video pops up and click one of the videos. We've done a few Peveril Homes, Homes as tours, and this is one of my favorites. So yeah, definitely, let me see you in the next one. Click it, click it, it's gonna pop up, bye.